like, what's up? But what? And also just miss my mom because I... Drugs don't excite me. Hey, good morning, Spice Squad. What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Niall. Make sure you press that red subscribe button down below and press that bell so you don't miss a thing your girl post. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another weekly vloggy vlog. <sighs> this week... It's gonna be an amazing week. I am just speaking positivity. I am speaking great connections. I am speaking clear discernment and all the things this week. You know, I am having a bit of the Sunday scaries. If you are a nine to five workers, that's like a little Joe corporate world. Like Sunday is like, oh my gosh, going back to work. Sometimes you'll have a little anxiety. You know, you have a busy week and all the things. I am just rebuking all of that. Like, this is not the Sunday scaries. This is an amazing day, a day of rest, a day to just be thankful for because we woke up this morning. And like, if you woke up this morning, if you're watching this right now, period, forget the day that you're watching this. If you're watching this right now, that means God is not done with you yet. Like, you were blessed with another day to breathe, another day to walk this earth. And that's because your perfect purpose has not been fulfilled and God is just not done with you yet. And I really hold fast to that, you know, like when I'm having a, not having the best day, feeling a little down, feeling a little blue. It's just like, God's not done with me yet. There's so many people that didn't wake up today. So yeah, on another note, I am about to get ready. I have on my tinted moisturizer and I'm about to just put on like some light makeup going to brunch with one of my bestest girlfriends that I love so much y'all gonna see her momentarily so we're gonna do our makeup we're gonna get dressed and we're gonna go enjoy hopefully some really 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 good food we're trying out a new place and we're going on our monthly date I don't think we went on our date did we go on a date in July I don't know but we're resuming our monthly dates so let's get ready clean Foundation, clear foundation. y'all so i was just showing y'all the final look it came out really really cute i am really in my lash like mascara girl era i was just telling kiana that because we're on the phone she's right here y'all she was getting she was getting ready with me we was getting her outfit together um, i'm not even gonna call her out but i'm gonna call her out how about my girl got double-sided tape and she was like this tape is so weird like it's only sticky on one side i'm like kiana if it's double-sided tape it should be sticky on both sides and you should be able to pull the thing and she was like oh my god and then it just worked out <laughs> She's gonna kill me for calling her out. But yes, um, love how the makeup look came out now just to get dressed. And I need to record myself. I'm gonna make a TikTok and a reel for Instagram. So like I said, on the last one, make sure you follow me on TikTok. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And you'll see the get ready with me like video. I'm gonna show y'all the final look, but I'm gonna do the get ready on um, the reel on Instagram and TikTok. And all that information is down below and I'll put it on the screen. Loving the lip combo, like, get into it. Alright y'all, so I am fully dressed and ready. I just have to put on my Smell Goods. I wore my new Valentino yesterday, so not gonna wear that today. Maybe I should do the Billie Eilish one today and see, like, how long that lasts and everything. I'm gonna show y'all the look, of course. I'll show y'all when we get downstairs, but when I tell you it came together, baby... 10 out of 10. Y'all excuse that because that stuff over there really makes this room look so junky, messy, and dirty. And it's not. Um, that is literally all my vacation stuff that I need to plan out the outfits for the end of this month. But I have to wait till my mom comes back. So that's going to be there for another two weeks. And then once I can clear that up, because literally it's just all new clothes, like folded up and outfits put together. 
but everything else is is clean you see everything else is clean <laughs> so yeah i feel like i had to give that disclaimer because it's been looking really messy um did this camera charge let me see y'all my battery's only halfway full so i'm gonna go downstairs and charge it some more so we're gonna do the billy eilish today what is this what the heck got on my skirt i gotta put some water behind it yes this i'm putting extra because i have it because i just don't know that's it i just don't know and then we're gonna mix it with the k Ali. if you watch my last video i was saying these two feel like they seems like they'll make the perfect pair mm-hmm mm -hmm. all right smelling really vanilla -y. and i'm really loving this outfit y'all i love me some athleisure wear okay like oh it's just the best it's just the best okay squad this is the look i love this varsity two-piece set if you have not got your hands on this go get your hands on this okay we have some as of now this is before i put up the get ready with me we have one small black left in stock and we have this really pretty pastel blue in stock as well and then between you and i we have a white set coming out i have not released that yet i'm thinking of holding on to it for like a week or two but if i sell all of the ones i have currently i will drop the white one so that's kind of how i've been doing it because this set is limited limited edition it's the end of the summer I'm kind of late to it, light fit, just, we just got to it late. So, with that being said, limited edition, and they've been going like hotcakes. Let me, a little bit like that. Okay, so this is the black I have on my Chanel sneakers with it. I have on some gold anklets. I have my Louis Vuitton crossbody fanny pack, and then I have on my Louis um hoops in my everyday gold necklaces now y'all my cross louis bracelets louis ring apple watch because it's giving very much sporty and then i have on my Torian birch ring and then it's not no sun out today but our shades really for the sun you're probably like yeah actually now they are well we love a cute accessory and this is a perfect time to wear these shades <laughs> And I just very much brought this athleisure wear to that like luxury level. Life it really for me gives like athleisure wear meets luxury. You know what I'm saying? That's really the vibe I have for life it. You know what I'm saying? Like when you are like not working out in it, it's like when you wear it on a day to day, it gives very much that like luxury girl. You know what I'm saying? Like not too much effortless just threw it on but still give it put together no cap in my rack like this is like really the vibes i give and i feel like i give that when i when i get dressed like you don't really know what it is but it's just like the way you put it together just gave you know effortless literally okay y'all this is the look you know sometimes you just feel yourself like this outfit really gave that for me. And like when I tell you, I already I had this look in my head and I didn't try it on. And then when I put it on, it just worked. It just worked. I don't think I have tissue, Kiana. Damn, I should have took your word for it. <laughs> I don't take nobody really looking like you don't know. So we just got to Jersey. We are in Cherry Hill, Jersey. And I didn't tell y'all where we we're going, but we are dining at Brunchaholics. And this is my hot date none other than kiana herself spice squad what's going on what the going on our dance our professional dancer oh, didn't put it in there football mom that girl model all the things so we had some good talks part. what the model part you are a model you are one of life its main models and ambassadors that's true so let's call me a brand ambassador and your model too. You be mm -hmm. eating the girls up at the photo shoots. Oh, they leaving too. Thanks. But it's not a bad fly, right? There's no. nobody on the other side of no, me. No, so we can good. pull right out. And then you yeah. versus somebody else been in this corner and getting this parking spot. And then they going to go get that parking spot. And right. Then we going to be, be sick. Ooh, behind me. out. Y'all can't wait to show y'all key outfit. Because she, she wore uh, the varsity 
skirt set skirt skirt but she dressed it up mm -hmm. a different way we love that for life it and its versatility but okay mm -hmm. let us go inside and see how cute it is in there because i think it's cute you think it's cute i hope it's cute i hope it's cute too y'all the bump the b2k is on my face what? Bump, what's bump, that bump. girl <laughs> you think i should bring the umbrella yes okay <laughs> Just yeah in case. thank you you're welcome the weather is not cute today, but it's okay. Know. Where's the sun? The boobs because are moving. The boobs are. Mm, come on, let's get from this dumpster. You look cute. Let the girl see. Let the girl see, my girl. Oh, my girl got her bust down. Wait, not this dumpster in the background. <laughs> Wait, 40 inch bust down. You know that. That's right. That's still my answer. It's still summertime. Because yep. Mika's Mika, 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 Mika. bad coach. Okay, get into the bag. Hey, that's my favorite bag that she got. <laughs> I love this denim coat bag she got. Wig, Taylor, hair, Bobby Studio. Oh, so, ooh, <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> hair, hair crowned by Jade. <laughs> Life is sad. <laughs> oh, let me, you know, I got a TikTok our date. So, give me a second, y'all. All right, y'all, so we're waiting to be seated. It's so packed in here, like so packed. And why they got this lady in here singing? <laughs> I just wanted some R&B tunes, but you know, we're gonna give her a chance. So if you hear music in the background, that's this young lady here, or should I say, this older lady. y'all our brunch day has concluded stuffed as a chicken stuffed chicken over here Stomach sticking out. we rate the place i rate the place six out of ten she rates the place six and a half out of six ten six and a half yep like our standard 
is Urban Kitchen in Delaware. Like their food is just very consistent. You always like can expect to get the same thing and it's very good, very I fulfilling. Was be in shoe like um, the price point is there. This place, the price point wasn't bad. It was like 44 a person basically. Mm -hmm. It was just our seating and getting like, we had reservations and we still had to sit, wait 30, 30 minutes. minutes. That's insane. Granted, if we didn't have reservations, I understand. But to wait 30 minutes and we have reservations is a bit insane to me. I wish I would have kept track of how long our food took to come out. I don't think we were complaining. We had our Because we was talking. And we was running our mouth, so. Yeah, the food took a little longer than usual, but not too noticeable because we was chatting. And we had our mimosas. What I will say soon as we sat down our waiter came right over to us took our drink orders so nothing on our waiter right like our yeah. waiter was good he was he was good he recommended what kind of mimosa order we should get mm -hmm. he was good like everything else was like pro out of his control as far as cooking the food and getting us seated food was okay it was good but it wasn't like it, that's why it's a six awesome. for me it's six nine. yeah it wasn't like dang this one jumping it was like we not coming back here <laughs> <laughs> like we're not gonna take the drive to right, come right, here, right, right, right. you know. Yeah. Like, granted, if this was around the corner, yeah, we would come back. Why not? Like, the but food. they do have a bunch of holics in Philly and Chester. In Chester, really mm -hmm. too. When I look it up, they have they have the they have a. It's Chester a lot too. of them. I think I seen one in Fishtown too. That's like far. But anyway, the um, we're not driving to Cherry Hill to come. No, here. we're not. Uh, the one in Philly is more of a like order take your food out type thing not really and that's why we came yeah. up to this one because it had the sit down vibe and like y'all seen like it was the singer there <laughs> she was trying to do her big one for y'all <laughs> and like they had like a dj they had the music so it was cool but nothing that we would come back to and that's just our rating yes yeah and since we're and since we're in Cherry Hill, I just want to stop at Cherry Hill Mall and go to Zara. <laughs> just to see what they have. The mall, Zara might not have nothing, but I just want to look. Her and Zara. Zara. Love, hate, relationship. Guys, I'm back home. Today was a good outing, a good date day with one of my best girlfriends. We had a good time. <laughs> Despite the long wait at Brunchaholics considering we had a reservation uh we went to the mall afterwards we went in zara i tried a few things on didn't record but i ended up not getting anything however the zara in cherry hill had way more stuff than when i went to zara the last time i went to zara and they had nothing mind you i went to zara like a i feel like i went to zara like a couple weeks ago and i went to the one in king of prussia they didn't have squat when I said they didn't have squat, they didn't have nothing. And it was just a horrible mess. But the one in Cherry Hill definitely has some has some pieces. They had some things, but I didn't get anything, y'all. I don't need to be spending no money. My birthday is coming up. I got a lot of stuff to I gotta pay this month. Like my maintenance, my beauty maintenance for my birthday. No one talks enough about it. Beauty maintenance for a girl is crazy. But like my hair. My nails and feet, my lashes, all of that has to get done this month. And it's like expensive because my birthday, so it gotta be extra. You feel me? Like the girls who get it, y'all just get it. Y'all, y'all get it. Y'all, we here. We here. We here. I still I like have something I can wear on my actual birthday. My actual actual birthday I have something I can wear. But I really am considering ordering this dress. The dress I want to order is two dresses, but they still are, like, <sighs> expensive. And it's nothing extra. It's just the place that I want to order from and, I guess, the quality of the dress. I'm like, oh, uh, I don't feel like ordering it and spending that money. So, yeah, y'all. I'm home now, so I'm about to undress. Y'all see I'm taking off my jewelry. I need to take off all my jewelry when I come in the house. When I come in the house, I just like to get comfortable. I don't like to really stay in the clothes that I have on. Not from a germaphobe perspective, but just a comfortable perspective <sighs> y'all i really don't have too i don't have nothing going on this week i don't have anything going on this week so i hope that something comes about and makes this vlog entertaining i don't want to bore you guys <laughs> but i'll just bring y'all all my everyday life like some weeks are boring and not too much is going on 
we're gonna try to make it to the gym every day this week no excuses it's supposed to be a really rainy week except for tomorrow so i might run but if i run i don't know it would have to be tomorrow but i don't know as long as we go to the gym i'm fine at this point so what's happen with y'all later if not tomorrow morning as we get ready to go to the gym good morning y'all it's tuesday morning i don't think i vlogged yesterday but i really didn't do anything i probably did the same thing that i'm gonna do today y'all why do it look like that first of all let me wipe this off okay Okay, there we go. Anyways, I didn't vlog yesterday. And like I said, I'm probably going to do the same thing I did today. I went to the gym yesterday, came home, worked like a dog. I worked all day. It was a very long day of just work, work. Work, 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 work. And that'll probably be today too. Thank God that I have the gym to just like get some activity or else I would just sit at that freaking computer and work my little booty off. And then when I get off, I need to decompress. So I come downstairs and I sit my little booty on my comfortable couch and watch some TV, scroll on TikTok and play, uh, play my game on my phone. That's me y'all, I'm so boring. Like I'm so boring. I like to find stuff to watch on TV as far as like Netflix or Paramount or Prime, Hulu. And then I want to play the game on my phone and eat. That's what I do, y'all. Like, what y'all be doing? Like, y'all probably got, some of y'all got kids and stuff. Like, so I know you have your kids, but I don't. So, not yet. Not yet. So, I just like to have my time relax but me going to the gym i do get some activity i get active and i'm not just a little couch potato anyways enough about that and this is what we're working with for the gym these are navy blue shorts white sports bra navy blue socks it is leg day oh it's leg day so we're gonna be squatting and I don't like to wear shoes to squat because I like my feet to be super super flat I don't want anything that allows me to rock I need a solid base and foundation so that's why if you ever see or notice when people don't wear shoes when they squat it's for that purpose or if you see them wear like Converse or Vans it's for that flat foundation so just like when I squat I don't wear, wear um shoes Okay, see y'all at the gym. Hey y'all, good morning. It's literally the next day. I told y'all my life is so boring, especially this week. All I really have is the gym and work this week. No plans, like no plans. I don't even have weekend plans. Previously, I was gonna have some sort of weekend plans and I was gonna do a quick travel, but ended up not doing that. So yeah, I know I'm probably, I can have something to do this weekend, but I really don't and it would be great to keep it that way. But then there will be no fun for you all. So, I don't know, y'all. I'm just on my way to the gym. I made it to the gym Monday, Tuesday. I'm going to make it today. I haven't been going to the track. I've been trying to rest after the gym because I've been so tired and work has been so long and so demanding. My job is back demanding again. I had like two weeks where it was calm, cool, collective. I was able to not stress myself out and pull my hair out. Um not literally so now i'm back to being super super busy again so the little naps after the gym have definitely been helping i also y'all seen last week if you watched i got these um cleansing towels they're not specifically for makeup 
remover like it's different ones like i like the makeup removers by neutrogena but these are the hydro boost with hyaluronic acid and y'all know I like the hydro boost products um ultra soft cleansing towelette so i've been using these after the gym uh since my face is extremely like profusely sweaty after the gym red all the things you know all the bacteria and stuff so i've been using them after the gym to just clean my face off that's one thing i like like every day like after the gym i wash my hands i rinse off my arms and like my neck because we're all sweating bullets in there touching everything and prone to bacteria and infection to say the least so i always just like to make sure i rinse that stuff or clean that stuff and i'm like I should get some towelettes for my face because as soon as I go home, I'm not like straight wash my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. I do get in the shower really, really soon. Um, but I might do something real quick, like take the trash out. Long story short, by the time I leave the gym and get home, all of that sweat has settled in and like, yuck. So, having towelettes help. I just went on a tangent about cleansing wipes. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. This is my brain at 4.47 a.m. Um, yeah. I don't really have much, y'all. It's back day. So, we about to, y'all know, work out this big, big. Today, I have on different layers of green. I have on, like, the oversized crop t-shirt and, like, a lime green. You probably can't really tell from this picture, this angle. I don't know. Don't mind my little fat stomach hanging over and then i have on like forest green shorts and i have on some green life fit socks make sure y'all go shop online like i need to make some content for life fit. i think i'm gonna y'all y'all heard him beep at me y'all shouldn't even be going that fast right now anyway let me turn this light off but y'all shouldn't even be going that fast on this road it's only 25 miles per hour like why are y'all beeping at me and i'm not speeding up like this is what we're gonna do at 4 48 a.m like, are you serious? They really tried it, y'all. I guess there was a reason for me to have my camera on. Like, what's really good? I really want to, like, know what's really good at 4.47 a.m. Please let me know. Like, what's up? But what? Oh, okay. Like, yeah, keep driving. Lucky, lucky it was the green light because I just really want to know what she was going to do. Y'all, he's going to be trying it. Like, you were speeding down a lane of 25 miles per hour. Like, <laughs> please, please. As I was saying, I need to make me some content. Um,. To let the world know, I'm gonna be back in the mall the uh, the week, the second weekend before last this month. Just got back home from the gym. I don't look too horrible. That's because I was sitting there talking to Kiana. But I have been taking my little rags with me to the gym because I've been sweating bullets. And this is my little wipe that I use to wash, wipe my face, my toilet. These definitely came in handy, so definitely recommend. Oof. Y'all, it's time for the braids to come out, I think. Itch tomorrow make two weeks exactly, right? Yeah, like two weeks exactly is tomorrow that I had these darn braids in, but I'm definitely keeping them until Friday. But y'all know I don't got nothing going on this weekend, so if I don't need to really do nothing to my hair, I should be fine. It just itch, it's just like starting to really itch because all the sweat and product built up under my head. Anyways, let's conquer today, the day today. Let us conquer today and make today a great day. So I checked my mailbox, y'all, and 
I had some in the mail. And this sounds like... I don't know why the first thing that came to my mind was dog food. Like, the little kibble. And I was really like, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? I have a feeling I know what it is. But it took forever to come. Do I know what it is? Okay, box. Okay, this is what I thought it was. Is And y'all are going to make fun of me because this is my third one I bought of this because the first two broke. <laughs> y'all, literally my third one of this little Van Cleef dupe. I told y'all, it's so funny because I said, I'm going to keep rebuying it when it breaks. Okay, y'all, but this one is a lot thicker. So this is not from the same like vendor from Amazon because I tried to rebuy it and I couldn't. This did cost like probably like $2 more, but I could tell the quality of this one is a lot thicker. Better quality. Love this for me. Period. Period. Y'all, this took so long to come. Like, what it took a month? That's what it gave you that it took a month. No cap. However, way better quality, I can tell. I need to start linking this stuff. My best friend was telling me, like, you need to link your stuff. Don't nobody be wanting to go search and find. Put the link so we could just go buy it. I'm going to try to do better, y'all. Okay. Great. Great. Hey y'all, midday check-in. Life is life in. The adult life is adult life in. Like, Jesus. So, we're like at the end of morning. It's almost 11 a.m. And remember I told y'all, if y'all have been tracking with me, if y'all have been here, I told y'all, what, two months ago, that my insurance skyrocketed. And we've been working through this for two months. I got this new like payment and it's like doesn't make sense long story short she just got back to me today after it's been some hey follow up follow up that's gonna stay the same long story short it's gonna stay the same um I'm, not, I'm gonna spare all details it's staying the same it's not moving she understands if i thought i heard something she understands as a consumer how the price that they're charging me it's high and if I need to move like you know I'll be giving back x y and z so with that said I have to make these adult phone calls today I need to go all state I need to call Geico and check on the car insurance like what they're gonna quote me at not excited to do that like I just feel like this is just something like I just don't like to do as an adult but I'm gonna do it because I refuse and really do not want to pay that amount like I need them to take me down I need something to take me down, period. Because I'm a pretty decent driver. I don't be getting... Anyways. And then other adulting things or just personal things. Like my eczema has been flaring up in different places of my body. I'll get little patches of irritation. My prescription for my body oil um, for my eczema. I have it I have it being renewed or whatever the case may be. And that's not going to be ready till August 13th. <sighs> I miss my mom. <laughs> my mom is on vacation. And I just wish I was there with them. Because work is a lot. And also just miss my mom. Because I can't just call her. For every inconvenience that I have. Because that's what I do. Like any inconvenience I call my mom. If you know you know. Anything good I call my mom. If you know you know. When I'm bored and there's nothing. I call my mom. And I just don't have that luxury right now. Like, I could, but, like, I'm also not going to, like, impose on her vacation with her husband because they need their time. And I understand that I am a, um, I don't know if I'm a needy daughter. She's, like, a needy mom, too. Like, we need each other's time. <laughs> but I guess this is how she feels when I'm away. But, like, I just want to call mom and complain because I don't really come do complaining, I don't think, to most people. Like, but I'll call her. Okay, bye. Talk to y'all later. Oh, actually, I'm going to prove that I'm being an adult later as I make these calls to these different insurance companies. 
car insurance and everything is a scam like how does car insurance go up like it's crazy how like when you get an accident your car insurance goes up because you're paying insurance every single month for the same for that purpose so if you get into an accident the money you have paid is going to fix your car whoever's car you know depending on whose fault it is but they charge you more if you do so my thing is like they never want you to get in an accident but they want to keep collecting the money just in case scam okay y'all so it's later in the day it's literally 3 30. why i thought i was doing something Hmm. I was just looking at something, sorry. So, why I filled out this quote thing on Geico, I thought I was all good. They was like, you can pay now. So, I was like, let me call my mom first because I just want to make sure, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, well, call them and have them have it start. I was like, mom, I don't want to call them because I don't want them to try to switch my quote. I like the price that they quote me at. She was like, they're going to do that regardless. The next month you got to pay if they pull stuff and they see anything. I'm like, dang. So I still got to call y'all. So coming up next, we're going to call them. Update y'all. It is later in the day. It is 820. I'm about to brush my teeth. I wrap up my hair and get in the beat. I did not do the big girl task of the day of calling the insurance company. Look at the blue light. Blue light special, period. I know it's dark. Okay, yeah. I did not call Geico today. I got on the phone with my sister and we was just talking and the day just got away from me. So the plan is to call them tomorrow, if not tomorrow, Friday, because I have so much time. Y'all, I'm about to be TMI. Like, I'm just like, maybe I need to take an allergy pill. Why am I like, y'all see me breaking out right here? It's literally disgusting. Like, literally. I've been using the Dial Antibacteria Soap. I'm out of my oil that usually would clear up when I would get, like, I would break out right here. But never in between my boobs. I've never even had an in-between in my boobs issue until this year. So I don't know why it is breaking out. I'm not doing anything different. I mean, I'm happy it's not my face, but it's still insecurity because wearing sports bras or low rise like tops and shirts, you can see this. So I'm not wearing that until this clears up. My skin stresses me out, y'all. Like it really does. Like I'm not asking to be perfect, but like it's just the simple things. This is why should definitely be grateful for the little things seriously that part is breaking out I have this part like let me see can y'all see like this part is like a, a eczema patch it's itchy and has little bumpies like rash I have like another one like right here I got something on my lower back like I just really belong in a bubble and it just sucks to have skin problems. Oh, but in any in other news, I was hyped because I am securing this event that will be happening in. Yes, it is. I'll resend it. That's going to be happening in September. September is literally a jam packed month every single weekend. Every single weekend jam packed, jam packed, crazy. But all good things, like so many good things happening in September. My birthday, traveling to Houston, we got a DC weekend, and we're gonna be in the mall again. Big business moves in September, like two events for the for Light Fit in September, and then All About Me one weekend, and then the other weekend is definitely a self-care investing in myself like spiritual event so so much going on anyways this big event that i secured uh in dc for light fit is going to be so epic i can't wait to tell y'all more about it but if y'all are in the tri-state area y'all should definitely come out like definitely come out it's definitely for my gym people my workout people even if you're not that type of person but you want to just like entry level stuff like 
it's gonna be us it's gonna be our people like i'm gonna tell y'all so much more but i'm just so excited about it and i want to share it because there's already nothing going on in this vlog so we're just gonna talk like y'all my besties like y'all my squad y'all my girls and we just talking like we on the phone like like yeah <laughs> not me choking on my saliva the freak um I need to get a new head on this toothbrush. I actually want to get a new toothbrush because I want a different color. But you can keep the same toothbrush. You just change the batteries and change the head. So that's on my list this week. I want to go to Target. I want to go to Target. Hey, y'all. Come to work with me. We made it to work safely. Thank you, Jesus. And now we're about to go in. Hopefully it's a good day, it's a fast day, it's a productive day. Spoke to God on the way here. He's gonna give me the wisdom and the discernment to make it through the day. He is going to give me problem solving skills and supernatural powers to close and seal the deal on some things today, okay? In Jesus' name. Hey y'all, so I am about to go into the riverfront market, that market I like to get the fruit from. So I'm gonna take y'all in there with me today and like show y'all. I'm not gonna talk because it'd be people in here. It'd be scary. Um, it's like, I got a little pimple patch because my face is playing with me, but that time of the month, so it makes sense. All right, let's go inside. Yeah, I be having the hardest time trying to find the best thing of pine um watermelon. I really love watermelon. And I'm tight because it's not even it. Just eating blocks of water. Mm. I know my pineapple gonna be good though. Good morning. It is Friday. lord it is friday i have not been so ready for friday 
in so long I really took for granted making it to Friday the end of the work week like I could literally crawl up into a ball and scream we made it to Friday I just have to get through the work day I just have to get through the work day I am definitely a no meeting Friday girl unless I have to be I have one 15 minute meeting today at work the rest will just be administrative stuff and checking on things to see if they went through and, and those things, right? Yeah. Hopefully nothing backfires and then it's just, I don't know. I'm just praying it's going to be a good day, y'all. Right, it needs to be a good day. It needs to be an easy, light day. This is a to-do list for me today. Um, some of this stuff I just need to check up. I need to check on. Uh, and the rest is, is just administrative stuff. So I'm praying to God, you know, that it is just a good day. I know I said that 20 times, but the work week I've had felt like I've worked 30 days and 30 nights with no days off. That is what this week has felt like 30 days and 30 nights, no days off. It has been long. It has been extremely long. And I'm just grateful and thankful that, you know, the Lord blessed me to get through it. I'm in one piece. I am saying I'm just so excited to close my laptop. Like, I have not been this excited to close my laptop in a long time. Granted, I'll be waiting for the weekend every Monday, right? An understatement. Okay? An understatement. Our devotional says, take your rightful place. Let me get into this. And I will check in with y'all. In a little bit. Baby, I just left the gym. I'm still out of breath. Haha, <laughs> it's a four minutes. Let me put this air on next. <sighs> Baby. It should be a crime not to have AC in the gym. But to my surprise, it's not uncommon. I guess these commercial gyms just be spoiling us like the Planet Fitness is, LA Fitness, Edge, <sighs> Anytime Fitness, because they got air conditioning. <sighs> I'm still trying to catch my breath. About to go to Walmart, do my weekly pickup. This week I need to make sure I get Clorox wipes. And what else do I need to make sure I get? I need some lemon juice. For some reason, I seem to never be able to find it in the super Walmart. I might have to go when I go to like a supermarket. <sighs> Glad I got the workout done. I don't like to turn my watch off until my heart rate rate drops and it's resting because I think I'm still burning the calories. Let me put my seat on. Let me see where I'm at. Yeah, it dropped pretty low. So my heart rate's at 116 right now. I heard they have different watches that are more accurate than the Apple Watch. They have the swoosh, I think. And I think the Fitbit one. I know they have Fitbit, but I know swoosh. I think it might be one other one that they say is more accurate for your heart rate and then like for runners, those who run and stuff. Okay. Just trying to calm down. These are just my thoughts after the gym. I went hard. I did. I went hard today. Not even mad at myself. Y'all want to know TMI? I've been letting my underarm hair grow a little longer than usual. Y'all can't really tell. But y'all know I got laser on my underarm. 
your underarms are something that after you get your treatment that's why they have the lifetime membership because i probably need a couple more treatments but honestly that stuff hurt and i don't want to pay a hundred dollars each session now is a hundred dollars if i go back to get my laser wherever i get my laser at where my underarms or my um my brazilian it just hurt my mom got this stuff i need to try but i was like i don't even be letting my underarm grow for me to try that liquid stuff for it to wash off but she got some real good stuff though it's not the nair or the other stuff y'all see okay i'll be back i'll tell y'all later i'll tell y'all when i get back hi i'm back home from walmart i was in walmart looking crazy look at my hair <laughs> anyways just gonna show you guys what i got really quickly i got two bags of these it was either two bags of those or two bags of the true fruit you would think this is healthier i honestly don't know which one is less calories but uh i decided to get two things of chips instead of two things of the true fruit i got me some ground turkey and i just got these um wingettes i haven't been eating any rice i've just been eating the protein and then i'll eat like a vegetable i got some pickles these are my favorite pickles, kosher dill pickles, this brand specifically. I sometimes I'll pick these up um, for a little sweet treat on Saturday. I know I have my true fruit, but I like, I like that. I don't know what possessed me to just buy a pack of beef and a pack of chicken. I haven't, ooh, I haven't had noodles in a while. However, I wanted to buy some fresh two fresh packs just in case you never know i might want to eat some this weekend yeah i've been looking for these the click gels to put in your toilet bowl when you clean it i haven't seen on tiktok i'll see them be like Click. so i'm gonna try these out i have like some the lysol like old school ones that you kind of like hang on the side but i wanted to try these gels i thought they were cool i also been seeing people on tiktok clean with pine salt i usually use like all clorox products lysol products uh i use fabuloso as well but i'm gonna utilize some pine so when i clean my floors and it's a multi -per multi surface cleaner some people say like they can't live without the pine salt i use other products but i'm gonna try pine salt it was funny because when i picked it up in the aisle the lady was like oh it's cleaning day y'all yeah, know i'm about to come up on some travel so i just got me some travel loofahs I got some more plugins. Just got my favorite. My favorite, like literally, I'm always gonna get these is the Mediterranean Mediterranean lavender. These will have everything smelling scrum dilliumptious in your house. No cap. And then fall is upon us. I got the Chris Fall Breeze. I've never had these before, but as you can see, there's a theme. It's always that blue one. I always need that like clean smell. This one definitely smells like the clean with a hint of like amber that's what it is the that amber smell to give a little hint of that fall smell which i love too i just got these bag of nectarines today i got me some bananas and when i say i got me it's because it's just me and i got some asparagus and i did an impulsive buy because i went down a little makeup aisle because i seen the elf stuff and i've really been wanting to try some liquid blush like i do i have not used liquid blush myself however when i've gotten my makeup done britney has used this on me and not this specific brand but i'm not about to spend a whole bunch on some blush and i don't know how i might like it but i love blush i've only ever used one kind of blush the powder blush so i'm excited to use this whenever i do my makeup and I told y'all I needed Clorox wipes, so we got those. Clorox wipes secured. I got me the 40 pack of waters from Walmart. Those are typically for my guests. And then I usually get the Walmart brand spring water gallons. They don't have them, so I just got Deer Park. That's all they had, and I wanted spring water. I didn't want the purified water for my gallons. And that is all I got. Y'all, I just got to get through the work day. Today is going to be a smooth day. Today is going to be a stress-free day. Today, a lot of people are not going to reach out to me. Everybody's going to have the same feeling of it's Friday and they're just trying to get through their day. Jesus' name. <laughs>
like I am not exaggerating I'm not being a drama queen I'm not being dramatic in a sense it's been a lot y'all it's been a lot hey y'all good morning what is up y'all it's the next day I'm so happy it's Saturday and that I don't have to work y'all know I've been looking forward to today all friggin week <laughs> yes so it is 9 58 in the morning i laid in my bed longer today i put uh i had my eye mask on last night so the sun didn't wake me up i did get those blackout curtains but i never put them up they'll probably go up when my mom comes over this clearly is messing up our visual yeah, the sun coming through the sunroof. My mom's coming to my house next weekend so we can pack for my birthday trip. Well, me and my cousin's birthday trip. So she'll probably help me put up my blackout curtains then. I've been having like this, like, I've been in this mood where I wanna like redecorate. I wanna like redecorate my kitchen and like get some new stuff for my room. But honestly, when I be thinking about it, I'm like that money that I'll be using for that, like I can use that to like, <laughs> pay for other stuff why am I like this like I want to like I have mad trips I have mad trips y'all that have just been planned out that I'm like I can just make these payments on these trips <laughs> that's all I'll be thinking about I'll be thinking about where the money really could go because redecorating is just not a need it's not a necessity it's not something I have to do anyways I had a really slow morning like I was just really lazy then I just I've been trying to look for a dress to wear on my birthday since last night and all this morning and it's draining me because I be finding dresses and then they be selling out before I can order it and like all the things and then I be set on one dress and then it's like my mom like she don't like it and she say something and then I don't know why I just really allow her opinion to dictate <laughs> what I get so yeah that's what's been going on I was really thinking this morning too like I was really in my head like I love living alone like I love being by myself I love things that things can be my way the way I want it I really enjoy silence like I really enjoy silence I can easily get annoyed by people <laughs> this is bad because I don't know what this makes me sound like because I don't know I just love living in my own world by myself and I really do not know how it's gonna be when my husband and I live together like I obviously will get used to it but I just love the silence I'm like oh my gosh like this is gonna be disrupted when I get married and I have kids like I woke up this Saturday morning and I was glad I was able to just sit in my bed and be lazy like I didn't brush my teeth yet and wash my face yet like I was just in my bed being lazy and I'm like it's people right now it's my friends right now being bothered by their children mommy 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 I'm hungry I want food I want to watch this I want... I'm like yo like that's gonna be my reality in the upcoming years that is going to be my reality so I'm just really basking and enjoying the me time my space my time and y'all I know I did a lot of talking on this video but y'all know I didn't have much going on this week so I'm just really bringing y'all into my thoughts and into what I be thinking and was like me like me this was a vlog to just to get to know me better by my personality and what I be thinking <laughs> so yeah that was this morning that was how my morning started off I'm also a Lotto fan, so I'm excited to listen to her album. I just haven't had the time to listen to her album yet, but some songs I have heard snippets and stuff, and I'm like, that girl, she's that girl. Like, Big Mama be going off. Like, I really enjoy Lotto. I love her style. She's so cute. Like, I love her personality. Like, I love, like, mm, 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 that girl. Y'all just put this hat on because I want to take my braids out, but then I'm like, I'll have to face the reality that I have to wash my hair, do my curly hair routine, brush it out, and then deal with it for the rest of the week while I go to the gym. And I'm really not trying to do that. So I might, I really might wear hats to the gym this upcoming week every day. No cap. I really, like, I think I'm going to stretch it, y'all. Like, that's just how I'm feeling. Like, I just feel like I'm going to look busted and disgusted until my birthday, until the last week of August. Let's just say that. Like, I'm not getting my nails done this month. I'm not getting my feet done until the last week of August. So, if you come across me and my my feet look crazy, my nails look crazy, my hair look crazy, turn turn the other way. Look the other way. It's okay. It's okay. I'm doing I'm okay. I'm just that's just how I'm budgeting my coin. <laughs> okay? That is just how I'm budgeting my coin. 
some new things have occurred when it comes to my trip in October some like additional expenses it's just been some stuff going on uh, but I'm still look, really looking forward to that trip as well back to my birthday like me finding a dress for my birthday it is more than a month out to my actual birthday which is September 8th and if you know you if you know me you know like I don't <laughs> by this time i will have something out with plans for what i'm doing for my birthday whether it's a dinner whether we're going some like going somewhere not like a trip or whatever because that's clearly planned i have not reached out to nobody i have not planned anything i have not been on the phone with any restaurants to plan nothing when i tell you last year drained me my 30th birthday drained me all the planning all the money spent all the <laughs> All the time I spent on my extravaganza last year, which was very much worth it, took me out for the next five years. So it's big trips, going like big places to really in explore the world and enjoy myself. And if I decide to do brunch or dinner, it's going to be on some last minute type time. And it's 100% okay if the people can't make it. I'm going to invite my people. And if they can make it, they can make it. If they don't, I promise you it's no pressure. I promise you it's no bad blood. Like I, I purposefully doing stuff last minute because I'm not about to put all this time and effort into stuff because I don't feel like it. Like last year was that. And then like if I do something, I might reach out two weeks out hey i'm doing this like i know it's less many like i understand if you have plans and all that i y'all know me like my whole month of september is planned out i have stuff in november planned out december i have time off already put in into i have my holiday time put in okay like i'm a planner planner so somebody can invite me to something that's two weeks out and i might not be able to make it because i already have plans that that's just my life <laughs> so i will understand if people cannot make it if i decide to do something let me tell you this. I'm going to do something. That's why I'm looking for me a dress. I'm looking for me a dress because I know on my birthday, I'm going to want to get my makeup done. I'm going to want to wear something pretty. And whether I go to breakfast, lunch, brunch, or dinner, that's what I'm going to do. And whoever can make it, can make it. If you can't, I promise you it's okay. I will see you at the next event. <laughs> um, that's just what I'm thinking, how, how, how things are moving and grooving in my head. It was, it was a rough week things are happening like i said there has been some pivots and some things going on it has in my expenses and my budget has been increased that that was things that weren't in the budget has been increased so i'm like i'm gonna just go get me some chicken minis because that's gonna make me happy in the moment I ride it on a couch last night. It felt so good. Like I just I watched I watched the emoji movie. I watched White Chicks and I watched Fury. I watched three friggin' movies when I got off work yesterday and I loved every bit of it. I played my game on my phone. I ate Texas Roll House. I had a roll. Can't tell me nothing. I had some true fruit. And I had my bag of chips because I'm like, this. that's how I celebrated, y'all. Remember when I said I wanted to celebrate? That's how I celebrated. I had my Ruffles flaming Hot Cheddar Cheese Chips. I had my Chocolate Covered Strawberry True Fruit. And I had a Roll from Texas Roll House. And that is how I celebrated while I watched three movies last night. It was a great night, I must say. Like, drinking doesn't excite me. Drugs don't excite me. Going out to the club smoking hookah, like, none of that excites me. So, what I did last night really excited me. And that's why I said, y'all, I'm boring. I'm getting older. And I'm just enjoying the adult things. The adult things of resting and not doing anything. Just clearing my mind. Like, just being still. Like, that's, that's what I enjoy. <laughs> I sound like an old lady. Okay, I know I've been talking probably for the past 10 minutes. But, like, yeah. I'm about to go on Aldi and get some stuff, and then we're gonna go get Chick Fil A, and then we're gonna wrap this up. Hello, welcome Hi. To Chick Fil A. Can I have a name for your order? Niall. And how may I serve you? Can I get the chicken minis, the four count? Meal or entree? Um, I want the entree, but I want a cup of ice water. Okay. If that makes sense. So. Yeah. And I want to play with cash. Excuse me. Cat. I want to play with cash. Oh, you can pull up the tent over there okay thank you my pleasure is this thing on okay yeah i think my um microphone works so much better with the little fuzzy thing on it it just be trying to really be in my video like it be coming down and stuff and sometimes i don't always notice it and i'll be mad when i see some fur hanging hi it's 4.99 yes thank you thank you
Thank you. Have a great day. You too. She kind of snickered when she gave me my penny. But I mean, did you not want to give me my penny? I'm trying to make sure your, um, your drawer not over or under because I used to work in the fast food industry. I was at Dunkin' Donuts for five years. Yes, yeah, I worked at Dunkin' Donuts for five years, all through high school and all through college. Well, 10th grade, starting in 10th grade of high school, all through college, I worked at Dunkin' Donuts and I worked at Smoothie King. And we had to do the drawers to make sure they wasn't over or under. So they should be even. So run me my penny. Thank you. And if you know me, like I use my change faithfully. Faithfully, baby. For real, what you wanna do for my birthday? What do I get for my birthday? What do I get for my birthday? What do I get for my birthday? I can't wait to play this on my birthday. Do the most for me cause I'm sprung. Sprung for ya. Some good on Come for ya. Nayel. Okay, about one Okay. Oh, I think here go my stuff right here. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Water. Yes, water. Even on Saturday. I just rather like put my calories elsewhere, y'all, because I don't really care for. I like juice, but like I don't really care if I don't drink juice. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I appreciate y'all. Y'all know I will be back next week with another weekly vloggy vlog. And I hope y'all enjoyed this week. Comment down below. Let me know um, your thoughts. I don't know. Like, talk to your girl down below. Remember to be the light wherever you go. Because wherever you go, the light shall follow. Love you guys so much. Bye.